So team keep it clean What's going on It's Engraven here With another video And uh, I'm sure by now A lot of y'all have heard The um, the latest uh, report That came from Stephen A. Smith Saying that he got contacted directly uh, From Lamar Jackson's camp And we're going to get into that In a little bit uh, But just to really uh, preface this With something that I think A lot of people should have On their minds And continue to have on their minds Because we have literally And it's not going to stop Nothing's going to change, but we have literally gotten re new reports, new rumors, new stories every single day. Um, and, and that's just going to continue every, every day. It's literally something new every single day. Um, so w what I said before, I'm going to say it again, um, just so you can save your own sanity whenever you hear new stories, because you're going to keep on hearing new stories and there's going to be new twists and turns and all of that until there's a resolution. Just continue to remember that we don't know we don't we don't know what's going on we just we really don't know um obviously ravens they not saying anything directly uh lamar jackson his camp they not saying anything directly um so we all on the outside not even looking in we just on the all on the outside just wondering wondering and waiting so if you continue to have that mindset, then any new story that you see, you ain't going to trip about it. Any new report that you hear, you ain't going to get worked up about it. Because, I mean, and a lot of it sounds similar to each other. We do hear some new stuff here and there, but we don't know. And that's the best thing I could say about the whole situation. But anyway, um, Stephen A. Smith, uh, he talked about how Lamar, his camp, Lamar Jackson's camp reached out to him personally. And this is what he had to say. He said that um, they never, like Lamar Jackson, never asked for a fully guaranteed contract. And that it, and this is all alleged because, again, we don't know. We don't know. So this, like don't get mad over it don't get upset over it i mean if you want to get happy over it, I can, well i can't tell you how to feel about it but we don't know again we, we just don't know but anyway um they said lamar jackson never asked for a fully guaranteed contract and of course i mean recently just i think it was yesterday yesterday there was a story going out that um lamar's counter offers were for now, did they say it was, it was for fully guaranteed or if it was for more guarantees than Deshaun Watson? Because those, while very close, those are two different things. Because fully guaranteed is obviously a deal that will be 100% guaranteed. Uh, but more guarantees than Deshaun Watson, that doesn't necessarily mean fully guaranteed. There's a lot of guaranteed, but it doesn't necessarily mean fully guaranteed. Um, but anyway, that's what Stephen A. said. Lamar Jackson in his camp, they never asked for a fully guaranteed deal. Uh, then he talked about it. Then he, he said that uh, Ravens stopped, uh, their guarantee stopped at 133 mil. Um, and he proceeded to say uh, they stopped at 133 mil guaranteed with Watson getting 230 mil guaranteed with Kyler Murray getting 189 mil guaranteed and with Russell Wilson getting 165 mil guaranteed. So Ravens stopped at 133 mil guaranteed. Um, if that was true, yeah, that, that would be unfortunate. Um, but again, we, we don't know all the details of everything. If, if, if it was 133 mil guaranteed, like total guarantees for the entire deal, just 133 mil, yeah, that would be pretty bad if that was true. Um, but I'm not sure if this is 133 mil at signing, 133 mil. It, it just, we just don't know. Um, so, but if, if it is just 133 mil fully guaranteed, that's the total guarantees on the deal, then that wouldn't be good. But again, I, I gotta say it again. We just don't know. Um, he also said that, uh, he said that he heard Lamar was never consulted. He was never talked to, and he was never asked his opinion on Todd Munkin. Uh, Ravens new offensive coordinator uh, He said that Lamar was just informed that This is your new boss and this is your new Offensive coordinator So Jeff Zrebic Jeff Zrebic he said uh, Maybe about a week or two ago A week and a half ago Jeff Zrebic said that Lamar was given opportunities um, To give input On Todd Munkin uh, I mean excuse me on the next Ravens Offensive coordinator Jacina Anderson She said that um, What did Jacina Anderson say she said that they did get Lamar Jackson's opinion um, and some other offensive players, some key players, um, their opinion on like the philosophy and whatnot and what they wanted to do. So now it's, it's conflicting stuff. Um, so, again, we don't know. We don't know. 
that's the, that's the again that's the best thing I could tell you just to keep that in your mind just remember we don't know that's it we don't know because there's all these stories and all this stuff that that that's conflicting with each other and one story's on this side another story's on that side we don't know and that's it so um and then uh, he kind of started to go left a little bit uh because he talked about how lamar jackson doesn't have a number one wide receiver it was like okay cool yeah that's true uh, i think rashad bateman could be that one day he's not there yet but he could be that one day um but he he talked about he brought up Rashad Bateman and he brought up Devin Duvernay and he was like no not Ava Duvernay but Devin Duvernay I'm not sure who Ava Duvernay is but anyway um, he talked about how those guys can play but they're not number one wide receivers I'm like okay cool that's fine but then he said Lamar Jackson doesn't have a number one tight end and I was thinking what like what are we talking about I. I, I was I was disappointed in, in Stephen A. But then I know Stephen A. Like he um he has those moments. We all have those moments where uh, we slip up, where we just forget stuff. But on a team where the wide receivers are talked about so much, um, and you you on national television, and 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 with you, he obviously prepared to share this report. You, you, you got to be more prepared than that. Saying Lamar Jackson don't have a number one tight end. It's like, come on now, man. Um, but, again, like I was saying, a, a, a team like the Ravens where the receiver talk is highlighted so much, you got to know, like, who that tight end is. Because it ain't just any tight end. It's Mark Andrews. But, anyway. Um, and then he finished with, uh, if the Ravens are offering anything lower than what Kyler Murray got, then that's a low ball offer. And he said, if that is the case, then there's a PR campaign to make Lamar look bad and make them look good. And he isn't standing for that. That's what Stephen A. pretty much finished his report with. Um, but anyway, with the whole back and forth, and there's going to be back and forth with PR. We know that. That's part of business. It's part of negotiations. It happens. Um, this is something that we, we've highlighted several times throughout this entire process. And it has has definitely been a, a crazy process but that's how it's gonna be it's negotiations um it can get ugly it has gotten ugly some things have been uglier than others but it's part of negotiations so that's why i, I really say i really hope that we can just get a resolution on this whole thing i don't want lamar to leave but i think lamar is going to be going uh, i wish they could come to a resolution that would him staying with the Ravens But I, I still don't see it Regardless of whatever report comes out next Or whatever man But um, that's that So again Every report you hear Just continue to remember That we don't know